And here, if I've typed this in correctly, I should get an error that says, aha, no value not allowed in the column or variable division name. So you got to be careful. If you specify not null, you really got to mean it. So and that gets more into the database design um, and things like that, which I'm not really going to cover uh, in this video. So, okay, moving on. Um, let's see here. Uh, table with default field. Um, okay. So, let's see. Uh, for, let's see, for this video, uh, the last thing I'm going to show you um, is um, how to get uh, fields longer than 10 characters. So one of the things that's kind of held over on the AS400 i series IBMI um, is that the field names uh, are limited to 10 characters. And it's just, it's been that way. Uh, I, I can't even quite remember if it's been that way from the beginning, but you're limited to 10 10 characters on the name of your fields, but sometimes you may want to use more than 10 characters, right? So there's a way that you can kind of get around that um, when you when you use a create table statement. Now you might be used to if you're used to using DDS, it's the same as doing an alias. Uh, here's the one caveat though to doing this. Um, works great for SQL. Um, however, you can't treat those field names the same, uh, say, in, like in an RPG program. There's uh, a different way. If you want to be able to use the long field names, there's a way that you have to use them uh, to reference them, uh, say, like in an RPG program. So there is a caveat to it, uh, to doing this. Um, and if you're going to write some RPG programs or something that reference tables uh, or files built this way you gotta keep that in mind uh, you can't just reference these the long field names um, normally you have to use um, like it's like a data structure or something so here we go so we go um, let's see I think the table still exists let me make sure it doesn't so sales rep and oh drop table okay so there we go i um, we'll go ahead and rebuild that file so create table okay sql query 